Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and is your toothbrush hacking people around the world? Ho ho ho! Wild if true. Now ladies and gentlemen, today's video is brought to you by my family. My family who likes to message me and go, hey, is this true? Now I was sent this uh, today by uh, the Economic Times, India Times, oh, Bharati video, Bharati news. Ladies and gentlemen, beware. Hackers use electric toothbrushes in massive cyber attack, results in huge financial losses. There wasn't the only people. Independent.co.uk came out. Millions of hacked toothbrushes used in Swiss's cyber attack, report says. Army of infected devices reportedly caused millions of euros in damages. That's a lot of money, ladies and gentlemen. And that's a wild hack if true. That's a crazy headline. And, uh, and you know, unfortunately, it's a headline. and that It is what it is. Is it true? Uh, probably not. Now, it wasn't even just this one publication. There were other ones like this one, which was written by a senior contributing editor. Three million smart toothbrushes were just used in a DDoS attack. Really? What's next, malware-infected dental floss? But seriously, it's a reminder that even the small You run a fucking tech website! How are you goddamn this stupid? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about this situation, okay? So basically the gist is there appear to be smart toothbrushes, okay? Now, I didn't even know there were smart toothbrushes until today. Now, like a lot of modern technologies, you probably come across something smart, right? Like a smartwatch, like a, like a smart doorbell, like, a, like it's something that is internet connected, an IoT device, internet of things. Basically, small devices can be used to help make your life better. You know those things that you buy that are like, you, like the doorbell, for instance, that's connected to your cell phone or like a service, like a Nest product. That is an IoT device. That is a smart product that is basically a small little piece of, you know, technical wonders that is connecting to the internet and then connecting to your device. In this case, I looked up smart toothbrushes. And while I found different types of electric toothbrushes, the only smart one that I could find was the Colgate Hum. Now I looked into the Colgate Hum and this is what the uh, smart toothbrush looks like. And one of the things, that I wanted to confirm was, does this connect to the internet? For this story to be true, this toothbrush should be able to ping google.com. Can it? Well, I looked into the situation and apparently it connects to your toothbrush and it connects via Bluetooth. So yeah, why does this device exist? Well, it exists if you're too stupid to goddamn brush properly, it'll tell you exactly how to brush your teeth and how long you need to brush your teeth for, okay? This is basic stuff. Didn't know we need an app for it. So the Colgate product, all right, before you begin your device, Bluetooth is on. Your device is connected to Wi-Fi or a cellular network and your Hum toothbrush is paired. So yeah, it's a Bluetooth powered device and Bluetooth, as you know, does not connect to the internet. Yes, you can tether your internet through Bluetooth, but typically Bluetooth as a service is not designed, or Bluetooth as a, as a, as a, as a connection protocol is not designed for TCP slash IP connections, which is what you use to connect to the internet. It's how your computer connects to the internet, your laptop, your phone, so on and so forth. These brushes do not have the network stack required to run and participate in a botnet. But see, this required five minutes of research. Why <laughs> big publications also couldn't before spreading misinformation? A little bit beyond me, okay? This is just like basic shit. So while this was initially reported in the Algor Zeitung, all right, I hope I pronounced this one right. I'm not too good at my German, okay? I'm sure I offended a few people watching already. But this was basically talked about and this was brought up in a report. A report that I could not actually find and a report that did not list some of the most required components for a cybersecurity warning. Things like IOCs, malware hashes, even IP addresses from the attackers, which everyone knows by the time a report comes out, wasn't present. I was wondering, why is it that the media is taking this so fucking seriously. What's going on? <laughs> so there were some good posts, some good, uh, some good news articles from Bleeping Computer, for instance, that said a Swiss news site published a story stating that an employee of cybersecurity firm Fortinet said three million electric toothbrushes have been infected with Java malware to conduct DDoS attacks against a Swiss company. So they never mentioned any specific victim. They just said millions of euros of damages. And that's all it pretty much came down to. 
So, 3 million brushes were basically all infected and used as part of a botnet to DDoS something. Now, if these toothbrushes could connect via the internet, this story could actually be true. And I'll get to that in a second when I explain an actual botnet where these type of devices were used to attack serious large-scale websites. Even the brand of toothbrushes that were effectively infected weren't even disclosed. Which, er, again, there was no actual information, but a lot of these websites went with a headline thinking that maybe this sounds scary enough, and it does. There are people that to this day buy electric toothbrushes. Some of them think that they could even connect to the internet even though they're not technically smart toothbrushes. And they're wondering, are they participant in a multi-million dollar attack against a company? In reality, no, you're not, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, what could happen? How could something like this actually occur? So ladies and gentlemen, way back in the day, uh, not way back in the day, but a couple of years ago, I think at this point, I did make a video and I did talk about the Mirai botnet. And for those of you who don't know what the Mirai botnet is, there's a great write-up by the guys over at Cloudflare, the guys and gals, and they actually talk about a smart, you know, how this is a malware that infects smart devices that run on ARC processors. So the way that this works is a lot of those IoT devices come with an operating system built right in. So that operating system could be anything, but just for simplicity's sake, let's talk about, uh, I guess, the Apple AirPods, right? So Apple AirPods, you know, you buy these little pill boxes with actual like headphones in, right? Now these headphones, each of these left and right, and from what I understand, even the case itself, has an embedded system built into it, an embedded protocol, an embedded computer. It doesn't have to be anything fancy or massive, but there are going to be firmwares and operating systems installed. They're not going to be at the level of complexity and bloat that something like a desktop or server would. It literally exists to assist the device in connecting to an actual uh, phone in this case. From what I understand, none of these devices are internet protocol connected. They literally operate via Bluetooth. So their operating system, for lack of a better term, is probably going to connect specifically to Bluetooth devices um, and you know manage things like noise cancellation or basic features that Apple has embedded into this specific device. Now, when it comes to devices that have internet connectivity, something like, say, a smartwatch, then yes, it would have an embedded system, an operating system built within. It doesn't have to be anything confusing or massive, but that watch, if it can connect to the internet and its operating system has some level of vulnerability, then yes, an attacker can leverage that vulnerability, get access to the device, and use the embedded operating system within it to cause havoc around the internet. Remember, a DDoS attack isn't anything fancy in a lot of cases. It's not even as simple as pinging a website. Sometimes it can be sending post requests, crafted requests, and all of it is done via operating systems like Linux in this example with Mirai. So what happened was a botnet was created when embedded Linux systems that didn't have their username and password, their management username and passwords different. So what this botnet would do was take advantage of telnet services, take advantage of connection services, patch in, take control of some of these devices, and it would grab millions of them to the point where they would start attacking level three providers. So around 21st October 2016, a major DDoS attack in DNS services of a specific provider, DIN, had occurred using that specific malware and on a large number of those IoT devices. So devices like your Ring door cam, uh, devices that are just embedded little internet connected devices you have sitting around your house. Hell, there are speakers these days that are internet connected and whatnot. And if they're using these you know, earlier versions of Linux or these embedded versions that don't have their basic security watched up, and again, some of these could be really cheap devices that you buy off Wish, TeamU, Amazon, whatever. And what happens is because they were able to leverage those default usernames and passwords, the attack had resulted in the inaccessibility of several high profile websites. Sites like GitHub, Twitter, Reddit, Netflix, Airbnb, and all of this because a DDoS attack occurred from these, uh, you know, attack devices, these hijacked devices that nobody was really expecting. And there's more write-ups on this too. And again, you can look very much clearly, again, on how what the actual code looked like, how these devices were attacked from actual groups like the Malware Must Die organization. 
Now for the toothbrushes in this situation, I can confirm that no toothbrush, none of this stuff actually even happened. The reason why I talked about Mirai was to explain to you that yes, this is a situation that while this specific story didn't happen, it's not as if it couldn't. If there was any company out there that was producing toothbrushes that for some godforsaken reason needed to connect to the internet, I mean, there are laundry machines that connect to the internet. There are a lot of products that connect to the internet. Let's say that somebody created a toothbrush that connects to the internet, whether it be for, I don't know, uh, system updates in the background, you name it, whatever then yes, because that device can connect to the internet and it is running an embedded operating system within it that has the ability to send network calls, you know, send out requests, then yes, it can be used as part of a botnet. Is it likely? Yeah, if it's connected to the internet, given the scale and size and in the amount of products that exist, maybe so. But there is no toothbrush on the fucking market that I know of that connects to the internet. And if you do buy a product that connects to the internet, make sure it makes sense. Why does a toothbrush even need to connect to the internet? There's no reason for it. Bluetooth, I understand. Some people need guided instructions on how to brush their teeth, okay? I've seen some gamers on the internet, come on now. Now, because of how popular the story had gotten in such a short amount of time, there were scumbag threat actors who were basically telling people, yeah, this is real. For instance, this one uh, user from, again, you can imagine another Telegram group right here, DDosia Project Volunteers, admit it, who infected thousands of smart toothbrushes with our software, trying to scam around 900 viewers who saw this into buying their scummy software. But again, none of it is actually proven. So again, this video exists primarily for me to help dispel misinformation, get rid of the fear mongering and explain to you, well, yes, this could potentially happen if these devices were connected to the internet, but without any credible reports, without any actual proven toothbrushes that exist that can ping Google, none of this is actually real information, okay? And you don't have to worry about it. Your toothbrush is not attacking anybody around you. So don't, don't worry about throwing out your smart toothbrush. In fact, tell me in the comment section why you even need a smart toothbrush. But ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mudahar, and uh, yeah, wild story, but not really a story right there. Hopefully you learned something from today's video. Hopefully this opened your eyes up to what could happen with computers. But ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. This is me, Mudahar, and tomorrow we are looking at how degenerate and stupid the Genshin community really is.